channel is me Tiffany and I'm Tiffany Today I'm serving you this beautiful mermaid story look for Halloween I am very very enjoy this whole process of making it It's my first time actually making this kind of makeup I quite like it, I quite like it I hope you guys like it as much as I do Don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below because it's going to really support my channel and don't forget to subscribe where you live and without further ado, do, let's get into it first I'm using this NYX white eyeshadow base to cover my face as a foundation it looks a little creepy but that's okay I put a little bit more on my under eyes so it's cover my dark circles next I'm gonna set the base using this RCMA no color powder make sure you set all your face so it's not sticky and create a patchiness Next up, I'm using this Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette using the color Dahlia to fill in my brows. And start dragging it onto my nose to create a contour. Next, I'm using the color Makeda as my transition shade. And I'm using the colors delectable from the Too Faced with Peach palette on my outer corner to create depth on my eyes. And back to the masquerade palette, I'm using the colors Jola onto my entire lips. I'm using this next. Micro Brow Pencil and Espresso to make it look more cohesive as a look Next, I'm using this Kat Von D Alchemist palette in the color Amethyst to top off the Zola colors on my lips it creates this beautiful iridescent blue purple shift you can really see it clearly on the camera but on person it looks really amazing next back to the Too Faced Switch Peach palette I'm using the color tempting to define my eyes and make my eyes look bigger now to create this beautiful thin scaly look, I'm using this stocking and I'm adjusting the stocking to how I want the scale to look. And I'm using the color Makeda in the mascara palette on my contour area and my forehead. And using the colors Jola again onto my blush area and also my forehead. Next, I'm using this Stila Single Shadow in Kitten as my highlights and to blend everything together. Remove the stocking and adding a little bit more of the still Kirin shadow. I also applied it on my inner corner, the lids, and brow bone. Back using the shade Zola in the mascara palette, contouring my nose. And using the NYX Pro Contour Palette to contour my face Try applying it by carefully dabbing it onto your face So you don't messing up the scale on your cheeks Next, I'm using this Lime Cream Diamond Crusher in Trip It's a beautiful beautiful iridescent blue purple glitter I applied it on my inner corner and my under eye on my lips and a little on my brows to create a beautiful magical sparkle when you turn your head around then i'm continue by tightening my eyes and using new eyeliner on my waterline and mascara 
Next, I'm using the Benefit Gaming Bro in number 3 for my brows. And for lashes, I'm using this beautiful fashion lashes by Ardell in number 139. And next, I'm using this beautiful iridescent glitter and I just apply it liberally on my highlights area. my forehead and my inner corner and next I'm using this beautiful this beautiful colorful iridescent jewels and pearl and apply it on top of the glitter apply it one by one wherever you feel like and try to put it everywhere and not make them too close so it creates these beautiful sparkles all around And I put a little bit on my inner corner as well. And then I'm using this Colourpop Blooded Lip in Candy Floss. And top it off again using the Lime Cream Diamond Crusher in Trip. Only on the center of the lip so it creates this beautiful sparkly look without looking too much. So here is the final look. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.